Hello and welcome to the CNBC TV 18 special. I'm Shireen Bhan. Well, AI is the buzzword and joining the AI party is Interglobe's Rahul Bhatia. He has an unusual co-pilot on board in CP Gurnani, veteran IT sector specialist who, who was with Tech Mahindra for almost 20 years. And uh, the two of them have joined hands now to get into transforming the world of technology uh, through the lens of AI. Mr. Bhatia and Mr. Gurnani, many thanks for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. Appreciate your time. Uh, you know, the press release talks about redefining uh, industry standards, using AI transformation and so on and so forth. But let's get to the very basics. How did this partnership come about? I'm going to start with you. Well, you know, I've, I've known CP for a very long time and and I knew that he was coming off his obligation that Tech Mahindra about a year before he did, and we were just having this conversation uh, about trying to team up together. We used to have a technology business at some point in time, which we had sold in 2018. And uh, it was just one of those things, after having sold it, we wanted to go back into the space. Uh, but obviously we were looking for the right sort of partnership, and CP and I talked for most of last year and came to the conclusion this is something we'd like to do together. Mm. And here we are. So it's been a year in the making, Mr. Gurdani. I remember when we spoke about uh, what you would do post Tech Mahindra. I was very clear you were not going to walk away into the sunset. Uh, and here you are starting afresh. Uh, you know, how do you differentiate this venture from what you know and, and what is around us at this point in time in the IT sector? So, the, so let's first address the drivers from my perspective. From drivers, from my perspective, was that every second guy I knew, knew uh, started asking me a question after your interview, <laughs> that what's my bucket list? Because that's what, how you started that interview. And, uh, and I looked at, you know, various things. I'm not saying that there were zero bucket lists, but there were two definitely which is, came up repeatedly. Number one was that I was always a corporate entrepreneur. You know, I did create ventures. I did scale up ventures. But it was never where I was responsible for contributing right from the day zero. So I said, no, I now need to become an entrepreneur myself. So that was my first driver. The second driver was that Industry, we built a great industry. And I still believe that, you know, in terms of IT services, I mean, there is no other country, there are no other, you know, we now deliver global scale product and we do global scale, you know, customer work. Uh, so I said, but more often than not, we are dependent on product and platforms. Right which have not been made in India. Why is it that we cannot create a SaaS venture mm. uh, which addresses the global market? Uh, I'm not saying it has never been done, but it's more that uh, when I started researching the subject and thanks to my, you know, knowing Rahul Bhatia, it was very clear that TTLH is a market which probably can benefit from new intervention. You already have clients on board? A few clients with whom we are doing proofs of concept. Uh, the reason is that product takes a little longer to evolve and build. Mm. But when you're trying to integrate products and improving a particular process thanks to AI, I think it is easier to do proofs of concept so our current boardroom conversations are A, sharing the vision of the products, and number two is what and how soon can we show you what AI will be able to do for your businesses. So how soon can we expect this to take off, <laughs> pun intended? The takeoff has happened today. The takeoff has happened, happened today, today, but today and, uh, to, to, in, in your words, the proof of concept. I mean, you know, how long will it take for you to actually be able to deliver on the promise that you're holding out? I think, uh, you know, I, did, uh, I left Tech Mahindra on 19th of December, and since then, uh, 
most of the days are when we have been working together, listening to the customers, talking to the prospects, building teams. Uh, so I think over the next one year, you will see uh, a lot of good announcements. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Well, let's address the beginning, Mr. Bhatia. Uh, you are, of course, going to be uh, the majority shareholder in this venture. Uh, can you break that up for us? What is the exact shareholding going to be? Uh, we prefer not to talk about it. It's not relevant. Okay. I think that what is important is the journey mm. and, and what we intend to build together. Uh, over time, of course, I would, I would expect that as leadership comes into the company, you know, they would, there would be a, a mechanism to reward them for their efforts. So it will be an ever-changing thing. Mm. Uh, like I said, it's not relevant. So you are looking at bringing other partners on board? Uh, we were talking about. I was referring to Ethos. people who will come on 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 board the, in the in the company, and you know they'll obviously, as the company sort of starts to, to fire on all four engines, that they get a an equitable piece of the action. Yeah, uh, but how is this going to work in terms of being able to service everything else that's under the uh, Interglobe umbrella, from uh, Indigo Airlines downwards? Uh, what is the arrangement going to be for this particular joint venture servicing some of the? Uh, other brands under the Interglobe um, uh, and umbrella. Shireen, the, the, the joint venture with CP is not predicated on the businesses we have in terms of it becoming a service provider to these businesses. If that happens, it's just something that will happen. But I think what we bring to the table to the joint venture is the fact that we are in these four distinct industries. Mm -hmm. Uh, the fact that we have a lot of domain knowledge in each of these industries, the fact that we understand where these industries are not able to talk to each other, uh, and we feel that just because of the institutional knowledge, we, uh, we, 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 what we bring to the table is this common thread of where the opportunities may lie. Mm. And once we are able to identify them, uh, and off that create, sometimes co-create products and services, that will have applicability on a global level. Mm -hmm. And if in that applicability, companies that we are engaged with find, you know, find the proposition appealing, then of course they will work with that. So as you know, whether it's, it's the airline, uh, we are heavily invested in travel commerce, we are invested in our relationship with Accor, we are invested with UPS, mm -hmm. uh, and we just think there's a, there's a thread to be woven between these businesses to come up with some unique proposition. But just in terms of capital, I mean, what's the kind of capital that you're putting into this business as it gets started? Yeah. I mean, without going into numbers, I, we are well-funded. Uh, and yeah, we're well-funded for several years to come. And we'll see how things go. What, what, what are the problems that you it, hope to solve? You know, for? Shireen, the best part of these few months uh, is listening to the customers, mm. listening to some of the young startups, and also talking to some of the large hyperscalers. Because all of us are trying to solve some of the challenges. You know, so we've just been gathering information. It all boils down to you as a customer or enterprise as a customer or the customer's customer, all three want better harmonization of data, mm. better transparency and weaving together of the data. And I think our secret sauce is all about what you read in the press release, in OS. that means an OS which will bring data and customer service together. So where, where are things as far as IntelliOS is concerned? I mean, how far along are you now in being able to commercialize this? I think we've already commercialized it. That's why the proof of concepts are happening. But this is, it is not about integrating with one system. It is about integrating with hundreds of disparate systems. So I think it will take us about a year plus uh, as we go around this journey, hmm. I mean, it will become better. Just remember the evolution of the AI also. Conversational AI, all of us have seen it for the last 15, 20 years. Hmm. It's only gone mainstream now. Similarly, Gen AI, 
I mean, it is not that it is a new subject. It has only gone mm. mainstream now. So I think the system will continuously evolve. Mm. And the basics of IntelliOS are already functional. So, Mr. Bhaja, in, in terms of the digitization and tech transformation experience within Interglobe itself, whether it's the airline or the hospitality business, where do you believe you're on that curve? What kind of spending do you believe you will need to put in across each of these businesses to ensure uh, that you get uh, the outcomes that you're looking for? Well, you know, while I'm not, not at liberty to answer on behalf of the airline, but I do know in our most recent uh, analyst uh, engagements, Peter has made it clear that increasingly the company is going to invest money into technology uh, because there's just so much underlying value that you can unlock mm -hmm. by just making your businesses more efficient. So the company started when it started in the manner it started, but as it, as it sort of gains exponential complexity, bringing in technology to streamline some of the processes is just there's just so much value that, that we want to obviously unlock what gave you the confidence of making a return to the IT business because as you said you exited in 2018 what gave you the confidence to want to make a return uh, given percent. given the, the the nature of competition at this point in time yeah well two things one uh, CP gives me a lot of confidence and two at the sound at the you know at the risk of sounding a little bit immodest, uh, we have been been there before. We have been in, gone into industries where there were very well entrenched players, mm -hmm. but we believe that if you could come up with a differentiated offering, that you know you should see the light of day. So you know, year one, of course, this is going to be the the process of setting things up. What's the five year uh, roadmap as far as this business is concerned? I mean, do you, do you have a vision for where you see yourself in the next five years as, as uh, this business is concerned? I think uh, you What's know. What's the ambition? The ambition is to redefine customer experience, uh, and not only customer my customer, it is customer's customer. Uh, number one, number two is anticipate and use AI to create continuously better products for the TTLH sector. And number third, most importantly is use AI, but do not forget the human touch. Mm. That is a balance that I think everyone, especially in, in uh, consumer-facing sectors, uh, is, is going to be an important one to deal with as well. But, you know, in terms of hiring people, etc., how, how many are on board already? What do you see as, as plans on that front? I think the way things are, the, the core product is the Intel OS. And as I said, we'll continuously build extensions on it. So I think the product team is already in place. That's about 100 engineers working today on the center of excellence. Uh, but we do realize that as we engage more and more customers, we would need a layer of consultancy. Consultancy to look at the current processes, to look at how to harness the power of data, to look at you know, not only integrating the platform, but some of the existing technologies. I mean, we are not dismissing any of the existing technologies. So I think uh, those consultants, the number third part, where we will need people is that many of the processes, even to weave them together, we will have to do some of the routine jobs like call centers. Because customer experience, call centers cannot be disengaged. So I think our year one, we should be about 2,000 plus, uh, 100 as I said, are already developing the product as we speak. Uh, year one, we should be 2000 plus. Uh, Singapore headquartered or incorporated, uh, of course you are looking at global markets, but the key focus markets that you intend to go after first? So India, Asia, Middle East, Africa, clearly the growth in the sector that we serve will be the highest there. So that will be the focus area, but since our OEMs or some of our strategic relationships or some of our early adopters of AI are based in US and Europe. I mean, I think we're building a global company and we would be spending money upfront to 
create global centers of excellence. You know, same question to you, Mr. Bhatia. What is the ambition? You know, we just got a glimpse of what the roadmap looks like over the next 12 months and beyond. But what is it that you expect this business to do, uh, you know, for Interglobe, for this joint venture over the next five years? Well, if CP is the man I know, uh, and in our early conversations, CP said, RB, I want to do this thing for the next five years. And I said, you know, maybe we should talk about 2035. So we are in this for the long, for the long haul. And, and like I said, if I know the CP I know, I think we'll put a major stake in the ground over the next 10 years.